Okay, Battlefield of Eternity. So, this is Uwa Sanya, slash combo based Sanya that I'm going to show. A lot of players pick up Wrath of Berserker and they try to sustain Sanya by going Warwind or trying to just get tanky talents. Because um, they feel like she needs to be a warrior. I think Sonya is good at being in the front line because she puts out a lot of damage very, very quickly and can be quite a lane bully slash one-on-one -on -one bully with the right talents. So I'm picking Warpaint here. Basic attack heals. Um, I've had a couple conversations with Rajar and he thinks it's kind of blah. He thinks that Shouts of Fury is really good, which I've seen a lot pick that up, but I believe Warpaint really just lets you sustain through and also encourages you to do auto attack, which her auto attacks actually do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, when you look at it, it is uh, 40 damage. When you put a slam on top of that, it's 150 damage, which can chunk people pretty quickly. So, something to think of. <laughs> Let's go to lane. One of the important things you should realize about Sonya, oh my gosh, I missed my buttons, is. Nice wall. I need to get careful here. Is her E actually makes her unstoppable, so she's able to walk away from a fight. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. I was not expecting so many people up there. So you want to use that to try and sneak through heroes that are trying to body block you. I have to pick up bottom lane. Usually there's four people bottom, not top. So it was not affecting that many people. And you also want to try and keep her fury up. And your Q and your auto attacks build your fury as well as damage coming on you. But it's okay to throw out a Q occasionally. Drop a W and then back up away from the fight immediately. It's a lot of damage. It also will make people get a little out of position for you. And it will build your fury. Alright. Oh god. I'm gonna walk up here and start grabbing him again. Bring in damage. And remember, after using an ability, I gotta be careful because Kelthos is like super scary beside you. Um, because of gravitational. The gravity bomb or whatever it's called, the E. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. But I know what I was talking about. Oh, every time you use an ability, you get a movement speed, right? which is going to help you orb walk on people and try to buy block them slash keep applying damage to them. you got to just make the decision though after you queue whether you want to back up or you want to all in. Um, you can't posture around on Sonya just because her health bar isn't the highest, right? Oh god, this Nova is going to make my life so fun. I'm going to go ahead and back here. I have this in 15 seconds, but I'm going to go ahead and back all the way and just head to middle. Three of them being up here. Kind of indicates they don't want to go to the mortal quite yet, so I should have time to run across the middle of the map. I think it's like 9 seconds, 10 seconds to get across the middle of the map. Um, but in the early game, it's not that big of a deal. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Uh, this is me a kill. I don't think it's real Nova, it's not. But I'm going to also attack it just for the Fury stacks. Waiting for my Q to pop up again. I'm actually just going to walk over here and start applying damage. It's pretty easy to maintain your fury, so it's okay, especially with war paint and your auto attacks, to just expend slams like crazy. If I'm usually around three quarters um, to full on grabbing Shattered Ground here for the extra splash damage, because people stack up naturally whenever Sonya you're trying to fight them, um, it's pretty easy to stack up that fury and manage it pretty well. So you don't have to be scared of actually um, applying the damage here. Wait, is this a bot? This would explain a lot. So keep buying him back here. Oh, it's kind of sad I get to pick up on bot, but it happens. I just want to go on ETC here. That pinning shot is super painful. Um, Nova's floating around, I'm watching out for her because she thinks that she can kill me. She probably can, to be honest. I want to go in here and get aggressive, but I don't see my teammates around me, so I'm going to back up, tap well. And I probably have to get the Immortal, which is fine. Maybe we can get a kill here. Is that a kill? I'm trying to use my Q from the work to allow me to get on top of Nova and Kelthos here. I'm gonna pipe back and kill him. Three seconds. I'm gonna chase here. I'm gonna go out on an angle, hoping that he doesn't see me. Do I have Nova coming in? Bring the damage, backing up. I'm not gonna go all in in that scenario because if he hits an E on me while I'm underneath the turrets, I die. Like the cancer death. Alright, I'm getting rid of these minions, because they actually do a lot of damage to the ranged ones. I don't know what he's doing. Flying damage here, gonna get rid of this. 
And we're going to go ahead and spin here to get the lifesteal. Alright, floating around. Sonic can do the mercenaries pretty decently, just because of a whirlwind, but she did get nerfed in whirlwind health, I believe, one or two patches ago, so you might need help here and there with this. Just work in an auto attack with your uh, slam. Use that warp to your advantage. Use your Q to get your uh, fury back up. Fly everything down. Grab that. I'm gonna go back and heal all the way. I just wanna get some pressure top lane. Do note that when you do go back, you will not get fury. Your fury is all built up from being in battle. Okay, poison spear. So this entire like build is meant to combo people down and just do as much damage as possible. So I'm getting Poison Spear, I'm getting Slam, and I know it puts a lot of faith into my ability to hit skill shots, but I'm pretty comfortable on Sonya, so I'm not afraid to be like that. Let's try and put that in there. I actually aimed it behind him, because I assumed... I feel bad this Lord's a bot. Um, I put the Q behind him, because most likely people will step forward and then step back, and a majority of their strafes. And luckily, the hitbox was big enough on Kale for it to hit if he didn't move too, so it worked out for me. Basically, I'm covering two options of the three options that he had with my Q. This is a real Nova. She's got a bot, but I'm gonna walk forward here because I had Nova behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and life steal through here. Oh god, I'm dead. Just kidding. Rip me. That was gonna be a sick escape, and you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, you're so good at Sonya. And then I just showed out how bad I am at her. Perfect. Perfect! But we're doing okay. We're actually the highest in damage right now. We're keeping the aggression, and people are actually effectively scared of me right now. If you're hitting your Qs, dude, Sonic can be insanely scary for the opposing team to deal with. We have our Zebra pushing top lane. He's getting down the turrets, but after we get the turrets down, he should come down and fight with us. He doesn't need a soak experience anymore. And we need to go to our Immortal so we can all group up. Fighting near Immortal this map is very, very helpful. I want to get to the back line. I'm going to try to, actually. Got it. So we're going to get on top of Nova, 1W, and kite back, and we're going to kind of bully ETC into our Immortal, and then Leoric. So they're kind of forced to fight around the Immortal and us, and unfortunately this is a bot, but I would have done the same if it was a real person too. Okay, I need to start walking out of here. I'm probably going to go tap well, because we're a little bit ahead in experience here, and I don't want to give them the chance to come back in levels. I'm going to run bottom real quick. Grab this. We took out a few of them, so it's going to be a while before they group up to come help with the Immortals. And I just want to make sure we're closer to 10 than we were before. Right? Keep dropping Ws. I'm watching my minimap, and I don't see anyone near them yet. Okay, Leoric just showed up. I'm going to go ahead and attack, and I'm not going to use my W again, because I want to make sure I have Fury for this next fight. Mounting up near the experience, grabbing it, and then running up top. We're about to hit 10. If I can get 10 and get Uwa here, it's going to be huge. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go fight Ua behind him. They came in for the fight. Jumping straight on him. I'm going to step forward here. Nice. Good job, team. And now we have the Q left. I'm going to try and set by. I need to move past this. Alright, I'm getting by by my own team. Screw it. Let's go for the Immortal. And that would be a kill. So, you saw ETC in the front line. A majority of the time, Assassins are going to think that they're safe. and They're not going to step forward. Or they're going to step forward because they think they have a body in front of them um, to hold the Q. And Leap allows you to jump right behind them. Pretty strong. This bot Lee work. That was weird FPS lag. Okay, so bottom lane we'll push on Mackley. I would I would actually recommend that we all push top. Because uh, we have Nova, Witch Doctor, and Zeratul. Like, we're not the best pushing comp, so we might as well try and get pressure on the top lane. Because if they come and defend us, bottom lane, we can't do much except poke a little bit and maybe go for an all in attack. Um, if we go top lane, the Immortal will go bottom lane, and they're split between defending, and maybe they'll make a mistake and not defend correctly, and we can make plays. You should definitely consider your combo pushing. Um, my team went ahead and went push bottom. ETC is actually a pretty strong uh, opponent for Sonya. He's got the guitar, man. Guitars beat swords, it's a fact. I'm gonna run back, tap well, just like I have full health, and we're gonna grab Mercenary Camp soon, because our Immortal's about to die. Okay, let's look around here. I believe I just saw somebody transition up here. My team is doing really well bottom lane, to be honest with you. I'm just going to go straight here. W is a better way to clear mercs. Your E is great for the sustain. 
but if you are full health, position yourself in a position here where you can use your Shadow Ground to full effectiveness. These don't do that much damage to heroes anyways too, so it's better to use W than E. E takes longer, it's just better because it's sustain. Um, if you're fighting like knights or something. But in Palers, you can just stomp. Okay, level 13, we're grabbing Life Funnel. Um, this is kind of the safety pick here. An increase of world healing, and that's all I want. Just a little bit more healing, because after you blow somebody up with Ua, usually you'll Ua, auto attack Q, auto attack slam, auto attack slam, in a really quick manner. And you're going to get focused during that entire time. So you're going to hit E, and you're going to kite back to your team, because um, you're able to go through objects. I just straight up missed that on a bot. I am the best player in the world. Okay. Uh, Marley works in trouble. I'm just gonna watch him here. There are four of them here. The zebra's pushing top, so we don't have to go in for a fight too hard. I'm gonna hop straight on him. I'm gonna go in for all of them, watching straight towards the zebra. The zebra takes a couple of shots. Cutting back. Remember, I'm just trying to be in a position here where I can't get hit by Kale. He's the one I'm mostly scared of. Our zebra is still pushing top like crazy. And they're wanting to fight. The longer we hit the better. I'm going to walk up and just stop this. Actually, I'm going to blow them up. This is there to win in two. And you can see how much damage you can do very, very quickly. I love a good brawl. Tapping well. And he's all by himself top lane, dude. These guys are not defending correctly. Slash soaking. They're trying to fight, and they are behind. And they got a bot. Someone needs to ping that and get that on them. I feel bad for them on the bot, but I don't think their gameplay is really trying to make up for it. Okay, we're gonna grab these. These are so good at pushing on this map when you leave them alone. As we just saw top lane, the Zebro plus the Impellers that are pushing destroyed stuff. Holy moly. Holy moly. Alright, we're gonna run straight to the Butcher. Or not Butcher. Yeah, the, uh, the Immortal. I swear to you, when I do educational streams, I say the dumbest things. Um, I'm watching Nova, and if she comes back on me, I'm just gonna jump right on her. Gonna straight up Uwa as soon as possible here. Oh my god, destroyed. That was unlucky for her. You're gonna fight a little bit, and usually in this time you would try to run back to your base and grab some healing, but you might not need to do that. I'm actually watching my Nova because I want to help her if she goes in. Alright, I'm gonna come around to her. She's gonna help her. We're gonna go around ETC. We're gonna grab this guy, and I'm watching Kael'thas, that's the one I want to jump on as soon as I can. Here it is. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a whirlwind because I want Nova to do all the damage. Now come back. I'm just gonna go ahead and Q him as soon as I get the chance here. Oh my gosh! I missed a Rudy! Alright, we'll grab these. And then, since we took out three of them, we can afford to grab these. Dude, I'm getting bodybought by Leoric. Holy crap, he is huge. Grabbing those. Look at these impalers, dude. Oh, they're destroying everything. And I'm gonna grab Nerves of Steel. So, you, in the early game, you build for all this damage, you set up for an assassin build, and then in the late game, people are usually scaling up pretty well, such as Kael'thas, Jaina, all them heroes. So you're going to grab a little bit of defensiveness, like Stone Skin and Hardened Shield at 20. Just so you can live, and you can still go for the all-in combo. Alright. Moral's going to push bottom, we're going to push top, once again. And what's cool about mercenary camps, or mercenary minions, if you kite them backwards, they will line up naturally, which will set up for you to slam. So always think about that too, if you're trying to clear minions. Get the most value. Gonna use everything here to blow us up. Using slam, because remember I have more than three quarters of fury. Once I get down to half, I build it up a little bit more. Just so I have escapes available to me, all that fun stuff. Everyone's bottom lane at the moment. Nova. Oh, I want to go on her so hard. Kel'Thas actually is bottom lane. If I see her again, I'm going. I'm going. We're gonna stun her. Remember, auto attack and then W. And you can blow up any assassin for the most part. The damage is ridiculous. I know I'm four levels ahead, um, but I believe that same combo would have killed them if we were even. Cool. Let's rotate bottom now. So we can maybe get another keep here. Let's rotate down. See what we can do. And the zebra just hang still. He's gonna die. And that might actually be game. Waiting for that Molosh Pit to finish up. It's weird, sometimes if you queue the Molosh Pit, it'll disrupt it, and sometimes you actually will get stuck in it. I'm not sure if it's a positioning thing or if I'm just a goofball, but I usually get caught, so. 
I um I just wait for it to end nowadays before I go in. You can kill with Uwa though. Life stealing on these minions. I'll start kiting back here. We need some minions. Can we end this game? What's we can do here? Oh! Got it. Ugh, I have stone skin. Oh, he's getting back. I still have stone skin, so I'm trying to bait out some kind of hard engagement on me. Oh god, I forgot! There's Nova! Guys, don't forget that Nova is a thing. She will come out and she will ruin your day! That's okay, now we get to get the late game. Um, but right now you can get a sense of the numbers, like we're tanking 25k, we've done 25k damage. Nova's been wrecking it pretty hard, but... You have a lot of control in team fights if you're confident with your... with your plays, right? Mmm, coffee. Let's see, what else can I tell you about Sonya? If you're missing your cues a lot, sometimes it's okay to just sit next to your assassins, wait for you to get leap. As soon as you get leap, you immediately just pull back, um, back to your assassin, because you aren't comfortable with hitting your cues, and that way, when they engage on you, it's easier to hit somebody if they're being offensively aggressive with skill shots. So, just leap in, grab the secure double slams, and then peel back to your teammate and hold on to your cue. That way you can use it for peeling instead of an engage, right? You always should try to figure out how to play with a hero from behind if you're not playing so well. That way you can be uh, versatile. Alright, we're down here. Start chucking this down. The team wants to fight. I just want to kill the immortal. Are we going for it? Coming up. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, he's he's done. What? If you yell Ua, it does more damage. The fact. Oh no, we're getting moshed. I'm gonna pop stone skin here and just walk forward. The uh, skill shot here. Gonna run down. I will rise again. Will you? That could actually be game here with two catapults in the lane. We're gonna get these uh, waves pushing. I didn't life steal there for the push. I light or I didn't I use war one there for the uh, push. I used it for the life steal because I just want to have some health because no one's gonna wreck me again like now. Apparently she's not my friend. She hates me. I'm gonna walk up on my tail. Where is Nova? There she is. She's killing me! Oh no, 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 no! Nova, please! Oh my god. Alright. Alright, Nova. I get it. I should have called. Okay, so. Mortal is now down. Catapults are doing a lot of damage. Down at 50% here. We're looking okay. We're looking okay to win the game here, even with my amazing feeding in the late game. Triple tap, so strong. -goo. I don't even think if I had ignore pain, I could have immediately saved myself. Maybe? May have had a chance there to live, but whatevs. We'll let her have it. That precision strike was amazing. That just happened, team. This guy, right here. Or gal. Best Nova player in A. Look at that. And she even juked me and the camera and the spiders. That's crazy. Alright, so Immortal just walking straight here. It'll be in range mode. 18 minutes. Does it do enough damage to end the game? I think it does. I'm gonna start heading across the middle of the map. Yeah, that's gonna be a game. Alright, so that's Sonya. That VP was BM by Damien. GG. Ooh, uh -huh.